Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 9. My name is Franny and today I'm going to do the anti-TBR book tag. I've seen this tag everywhere which made me really want to do it as well. Well, I will leave the link to the creator's original tag in the description down below and without further ado, let's talk badly about some books! No disclaimers, because if you can't handle me talking bad about some books that I don't like and that I don't want to read, it's your problem and you're not the reader that you should be. So, Question number one. A popular book everyone loves but you have no interest in reading. I feel like this is a very hard question to answer because according to the kind of books that you like and the kind of books that you're aware of, you'll consider different books as popular books. But one book that I think everyone has pretty much loved, no matter the age or the genre preferences, is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I have no interest whatsoever in reading this book at all because I don't like the circus so it just it has no appeal to me whatsoever I don't care if it's good I just don't want to read it and another one that is actually a series not a book is like the Hobbit and the what's that series called I don't even know the one with the ring that's how bad it is that's how bad I don't want to read it and how bad I'm not interested in it I just don't care. Second question is a classic book or author that you don't have any interest in reading. Oh, there are so many. Oh, there are so many. I think that it would be faster for me to tell you the classic authors that I would love to read. <coughs> Charles Dickens. But some classic authors that I really, really am not planning on reading ever in my entire life are Dostoevsky, Scott Fitzgerald, I'm sorry, just no, and Harper Lee, To Kill a Mockingbird. No, I don't care. I'm not interested. I'm fine with that. I hope you are as well. Third question is an author whose books you have no interest in reading. I'm just gonna say a few. So Stephen King, I don't like horror and his books are way too long. Taylor Jenkins Reid, I know everyone loves Taylor Jenkins Reid. Everyone is obsessed with her. I don't care, I don't get it, her books don't sound interesting to me, I'm not gonna read them. Wait, that was question 3a and now we have question 3b, which is a problematic author whose books you're not interested in reading. <laughs> Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, I only read Americana, which I didn't like by the way, unpopular opinion, and now that she's come up with her recent statements, I'm definitely not gonna read anything else by her, I don't care. Um, and also, of course, we can say it all together as a choir, but J.K. Rowling, because she's a terrible person. I don't care that Harry Potter is an important, I don't know, fantasy classic or something. It changed people's lives, whatever. I don't want to support her as an artist. I don't want to support her as a person because she herself doesn't support other people's rights just because they aren't who she wants them to be. I think that's a hypocrite's behavior, so I have no intention of supporting her in any way. I've never really read the Harry Potter books, I'm not close to that series or anything else. I watched the movies growing up and I liked the movies and I think that in that case it's different because you're kind of supporting the work of so many other people that came together to make those movies happen, but her books, the books themselves, where she gets the money? No. Question number four. An author you have read a couple of books from and decided they're not for you. Neil Gaiman. I tried reading a couple of his books. I tried with Stardust because I really loved the movie and I thought I could like the book, but that didn't happen. And then I read Caroline, which, I mean, was okay, I guess, but it was nothing special. And then I tried The Ocean at the End of the Lane, which I really didn't like. I think that Neil Gaiman is good at storytelling in the old way of thinking about storytelling. Like, let me sit down as a dad or a mom and read a story to my kid, something like that. But I find his world buildings very messy and not really explained and hard to understand and just all over the place, which is not something that I like. I like structure, I like things to be explained, I like things to be precise, especially in a fantasy. I think that the world building is very important. So reading his books when the world building is such a mess and the characters are just weird and all over the place is something that just... 
I don't like it, it pisses me off. Fifth question, a genre you have no interest in or a genre you tried and couldn't get into. I'm gonna go with sci-fi. I tried reading a few sci-fi books, but I just feel like an idiot when I read them because I don't understand the things, how they work. I'm stupid, I just, I just don't get them. That's it. And then also, and this is a very specific thing, I don't like books that are set during the world wars. I don't know why, I, I can't quite explain it because any other historical period, I mean, historical fiction is not my favorite genre, but I've read some historical fiction books and I've really liked them. But books that are specifically set during the world wars, I just, I, I, I don't want to read them. I just, I don't like them. They don't draw me in, it doesn't happen. Sixth question, a book you have bought but will never read. For this one, I think I moved my camera. I'm so sorry, but I, I like swiveling with my chair, so accidents are bound to happen. Um, a book that I bought and I don't know if I ever will read it, not because I don't want to, but because I'm a lazy ass, is The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann. This is the Italian edition, and I think you will understand in just a few seconds why I don't think I will ever read it. Yeah, um, it's so long, it's like 700 pages and the writing is thick and I, I just, I want to read it, but I honestly have to admit that I don't think it's ever gonna happen. Seventh question, a series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and DNF'd? Oh, The Fellowship of the Ring, that's how it's called, definitely that one. <laughs> Fellowship of the Ring, okay. Um, another series is the Six of Crows series by Lee Bardugo. People love it, people will adore it. I I've been recommended to read it. I don't want to. I just, I feel like I don't like Lee Bardugo's writing. So I think she's an author that I'm not really interested in reading her books. Um, but just this series in particular, I should love it because, you know, it's a crew of thieves and like low-life criminals and they want to steal something or do something like that, which is basically Mistborn for young adults. And Mistborn is one of my favorite books series ever because it's just phenomenal and mind-blowing and I love it. It's just a masterpiece. But this one in particular, I just am not interested. I'm not interested in reading it. Um, I don't know why. And a series I started and I absolutely don't want to finish it because I didn't like the first book all that much is the Montague Siblings series by, I think, Lee McKenzie, the one where the first book is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, something like that. I read the first book and I didn't like the writing, I didn't like the pacing, I didn't like the fact that this boy was going everywhere to all these different countries, but there was no actual descriptions of the places that he was visiting, so it could have taken place in a house, a locked house with five rooms, and every day could have gone in a different room and it would have been the same, at least for when I'm concerned. But yeah, I started, I read the first book and I didn't like it and I don't plan on finishing it ever. Last but not least, eighth question, a new release you have no interest in reading. And once again, I think that different readers will be interested and highly anticipating different books that they will think are popular. So I try to choose a few releases that I'm not interested in that belong to different genres so that there's a little bit of everything for everyone. The new book can be Akatar series by Sarah J Maas, A Court of Silver and Flames. I'm not interested in reading that one. Then there's Rules of Wolves by Lee Bardugo, which is another sequel in another series, but I don't want to read anything by Lee Bardugo, so why would this be a difference? Then there's Malibu by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Apparently this is a new release. I don't care about Taylor Jenkins Reid. Later by Stephen King. This is another release by Stephen King. Not interested in Stephen King. Then I have Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas, and this is a very unpopular opinion. I do realize that. And finally, Kate in Waiting by Becky Albertalli. That's another author that I'm not interested in, Becky Albertalli. Uh, she has written the Simon vs. Homo sapiens agenda, something like that. Haven't read the book, I'm not interested in reading the book, I'm not interested in reading the other books in that series, therefore I'm not interested in Kate and Wait. I just, I, I'm not interested in her as an author. I'm sorry if that comes across as brutal, 
and mean i'm not so this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching i hope you want to unsubscribe because you don't share my opinions regarding the book that i talked about in this video i'm going to tag just one person though because i checked and he hasn't done this tag yet and he is kupul from a couple books he's been watching all the bookmas videos i've uploaded so far he's been such a sweetheart thank you very much for watching all these videos and i can't wait to see your answers so this is it please let me know in the comments down below what you think about my choices if you would have answered differently to some of these questions please let me know also like share subscribe any of these things will be very much appreciated by me and i'll see you tomorrow with another bookmas video tomorrow will be about the books that i would like to find under my christmas tree and that i will definitely not find under my christmas tree i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you tomorrow warm hugs